Today, I'm going to tell you about how I came about designing this complex design. It's a, it's a sort of like a, a process, but bear with me, inshallah. What is actually Islamic art? Mentally, break into two patterns. There's a geometric pattern, whereby some of us are familiar with, and the other is a floral pattern. And uh, for this is uh, the Dome of Rock. So the wall of this, the Dome of Rock, actually, if we see closely, the tiles here are made up of geometric, okay, uh, geometric patterns. And combining with the geometric patterns are the floral patterns. Where is this? Well, you may ask, where is? So amazingly, floral patterns actually forms the geometric. These two patterns fundamentally made it look like it is Islamic. Islam is about structured, uh, rational, the pillars of Islam, the halal, the haram, so rigid, so strict, and hence mimicking the geometry. Yet, Islam is also flexible in a way that Quran adapts lifestyle everywhere, anytime. So, it is about the combination, it's about the harmony. So, to me, like, okay, geometric pattern, really interesting. So, how am I, what if I extract these two patterns and combining in my own way, in my own style? First of all, let's take a look about this uh, uh, arts. What I'm really interested in actually is this. What I do is, trace it uh, using Adobe Illustrator. No, not using a Wacom, using mouse. Next, what I'll do is, I'll be in a program. This program called Processing.org. Uh, what this program does is, it will take my assets, just now that I just drew, and then set some limitations. Set the limitations on uh, the color that I'm going to use. I'm inspired by color scheme, basically from photograph. Photograph gives us a harmony of colors. So, okay, back to the program. The computer will generate an art based on the assets that I just drew and also the colors that I have set. It will generate something like this. Okay? Okay lah, tak Islamic sangat lah. But, but uh, this is the, 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 the initial part lah. Eh? I'm going to share with you how I'm going to make it Islamic. I hit the re uh, refresh, it will give me something else. Okay, tak nampak beza sangat. Actually, beza. Total, kita tengok the beza. What if I'm changing the color? I'm changing the color, different results. Okay, so this is really cool. Uh, again, I'm I trying to make something Islamic. So, to me, geometric is all about system and repetitions. So, we take one part and then we slice it and then we repeat it. Mimics the kaleidoscope effect. So, what if I take the generated artwork that I, the computer generated for me and apply the kaleidoscope effect? It turns out, okay, great, macam cantik. Um, tapi tak, tak cukup, tak puas, macam apa, apa yang kurang ni? Something missing here, something missing. I drew a lot of this. This is called medallion. Where I get this? Draw, balik, you know. It's really tedious job and it really hurts ah. eh? a lot. <laughs> so what if I take the medallion and uh, combine with the kaleidoscope effect, the, the computer generated for me, okay? And Alhamdulillah, now I'm going somewhere. It's a bit of green and all, touch up there, stroke. This is how I started. Uh, so since then, I'm experimenting with a lot of stuff. So this is the same artwork, the same asset, again, the same colors, but generated a few times, and then you can get different results. And there you go. You know my secret. Okay. No big deal, right? It's a big deal to me. So with this kind of designs, I'm able to create the cover for this notebook because I need to make money a bit, you know, design, design. Okay, lah, about product lah. I'm experimenting with Recently, with uh, calligraphy, I'm trying to apply calligraphy into this. Sometimes I get bored and I try other stuff. Ah. The artwork's inspired by the Chinese motif. And I draw some of it. These are some of the elements, flowers basically. New colors, new assets. This are uh, inspired by this Chinese, eh, uh, Indian Mehendi, Hena. You can, you can uh, find, learn more about these artworks. I have a lot of batik. Uh, I try to get all these culture things, you know, batik, uh, Burma, Mongolia, a lot of uh, good textile that I can experiment with uh, and find uh, some of other works here. Uh, I feel designers are basically driven by passion. 
when we work with client because you want to make a living we somehow macam eh asal macam boring ni aku ni you demotivate like, i need to search projects that can uh, nurture my creativity challenge myself the ultimate goal is to be creative to be um, someone that has a value you have to just try and try and try so you 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 try to love this eh you try to love this and then try again and again boring try another thing you know just try just search don't just pergi kerja balik kerja tidur makan semayang whatever you know alhamdulillah that's all may allah gives us the baraka in our works that we do or uh, eventually will be uh, benefit to the ummah here and after insyaallah assalamualaikum thank you Thank you.